All right, it's Thursday. We just got done with the Gospel of Two Wheels uh, show that we do every Thursday morning at 7.30 on our Facebook page. And now it's time to get to the shop and get some work done so that we can then go ride our dirt bikes tonight for Thursday Night Ride. So join me on my day. We'll do a, bit, a little bit of vlogging today and see how that goes. Uh, yeah, if you guys are interested, stick with me. If not, skip over to another show. <laughs> Gotta make one more cup of coffee before we go. In case anybody is actually interested, the coffee machine I use is the Rancilio Miss Sylvia, and I use the Rocky Grinder. I don't know if anybody cares about that, but this is this setup right here makes the absolute best cup of coffee I've ever had. Same with all my friends who come over and I spoil them. So if you really like coffee and you <laughs> really like um espresso or americano whatever anyway this setup is the business i know this is a motorcycle channel but seriously coffee so good so like i said maybe we'll do a little bit of a vlog kind of show today just take you through what a day looks like for uh, me and for Hound Cycles. Uh, going racing this weekend, and I'm gonna take the YZ250 that I call Jolene. She's my dumpster baby, built out of a whole bunch of different YZ250s. It's got a 07 frame, 08 forks, 2013 bottom end, and I'm not even sure what year the cylinder came off of. She's a good old girl though, and uh, I think she's gonna do well. If I can hold it wide open like I need to. So, yeah, there we go. We're gonna go Thursday night ride on her tonight. Get ready. So, if you guys don't know, we are located in Montrose, Colorado, which is western Colorado. Central Western Colorado, really, not too far south, not too far north. We're about 60 miles south of Grand Junction and about 60 miles uh, west of Gunnison. And we are north of Telluride and Uray, uh, about 35 miles north of Uray. Telluride's in the mountains, about an hour and a half away. Um, so, yeah, it is absolute mecca for dirt bikes. <laughs> It is hands down the best place I've ever lived for riding. There's tons and tons of trails, tons and tons of public land. It is a wonderful, wonderful place. Come visit if you like. Uh, we're going to be offering guided tours soon, uh, probably next year, 2020. Um, but yeah, I live on the west side of town. It takes me all of about 10 minutes to get to work. So I'm going to take the back way today, maybe do a little talking. So yeah, Montrose is a quiet little town, about 20,000 people and growing right now. It's like most of Colorado, it's sort of expensive these days to live in. Uh, that's uh, kind of unfortunate for folks who want to move here, but it is worth the sacrifice if you can make it happen. I absolutely love it here. I've lived in Fort Collins, I've lived in Gunnison, and I've lived here. And honestly, Gunnison is probably my favorite as far as just the places I've lived. I absolutely love Gunnison. It's a hard place to make a living though, so that's why we're here. Montrose, definitely close second. Very, very, very close second. Um, as far as dirt biking goes, Montrose is better because you get more of a season uh, before it snows and gets cold. And you have access to all that gunny stuff anyway. Uh, why don't you guys in the comments below Tell me where you guys are from, what you guys love about where you live. Uh, like I said, just shoot shoot some messages in the comments. Tell me where you guys live, where you ride, what you love about it. I think it's important that everybody loves their hometown. Uh, for me, Montrose is the best. Not for everybody, but so yeah, let me know. Let me know where you guys are watching from and where you live and what you uh, ride, what you love about it. Time to change the time.
Kevin Crop, what's happening? The uh, yeah, got the yeah yeah <laughs> yes you are the, uh, <laughs> but it's like brand new, so take really good care of it. Let me show you something. So KTM oil filters are kind of hard to get out of their home. Um, they sell special things and whatever, but right here is all you need. A pair of snap ring, snap ring pliers. You go in here like this. Boom. I like that. It's all good to go. Another thing I want to show you. See this? Look really close. That's the train plug out of this uh, 2016 450SX, I think 16, anyway. Pretty new bike. See that fuzzy stuff? That's okay. That's generally clutch material, because clutch fibers have some metallic stuff in them, uh, just like brakes. And that's, what, that's why this uh, magnet is here, just to catch that stuff, and then also alert you if any big pieces of metal have fallen down there. So, that's a normal amount of fuzz on one of these things. Just clean it up, put it back in there. Oh man, so we're headed up the Uncompagre Plateau. We're gonna go ride the uh, Buck Trail and a few other trails up there that are some of our favorites. and. Uh, one of the things I love about Montrose is that there's a giant, giant desert that is amazing to ride just to the east of town. There's a really cool, rocky, gnarly desert to ride just west of town. And then about 30 minutes west of town, there is the Uncompagre Plateau, which is an amazing place that goes from wow, probably 8,000, 8,500 feet up to about 10,000 feet. So it's up in the aspens, the green trees, there's black dirt, there's water, there's creek crossings, there's logs. It's just an amazing place. And that's the thing I love about living here is that you've got all that within a half hour, right? That's craziness. I mean, absolute craziness to have all that riding so close. And then you've got, of course, Sargent's is an hour and a half, Taylor Park's an hour, hour 45, Crescent Butte. Uh, Moab's three hours, two and a half, three hours. Green River's two and a half hours. This is like the center of dirt biking, like period. Dead middle center of awesomeness. So yeah, we're gonna head up here. I just left the shop at five. Um, I'll check in when we get up there, but it'd be about 5.30, 5.35-ish when we get there. Um, gonna unload, we'll probably get 25, 30 miles in before it gets dark. How can you beat that? Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome, awesome, awesome.
Ahí te está.